morning Rosie Mob have come up from our uh, saltwater country and we want to work with you today. Before we do that, we want to do a dance to cleanse this area. So all our bad energy goes, we cleanse it for you guys, we cleanse it for the country and we bring good energy, we open up the way for good energy to come in. bring our young Aboriginal people back on country and back onto these um, properties is really, really important for them. We're actually getting Aboriginal people on country and for the young people to help go through a process of understanding their heritage, who they are, and then their connections to, to the land, um, it's, it's uh, you know, a huge benefit. Um, and they're the future custodians and the caretakers, so they need to know at a younger age to come on the country with their elders. We're here today with um, Aboriginal school children and the landowners Ray and Lindsay and Greening Australia who are building a biodiversity corridor across the Midlands landscape. So we're about to start planting. Come over here everyone, gather around. What's happening on this property and in, in the Midlands is restoring landscape function and biodiversity. Greening Australia is building a biodiversity corridor across this very fragmented landscape. The research that I've done and my students have done is about finding out what the animals, the birds and the mammals need to live in this landscape. By putting the understory back in, you're providing food for invertebrates. Invertebrates provide food for mammals and for lizards and for birds. And so you bring the biodiversity back into the landscape. See, it's caged at the top. Why is it caged over at the top? Excellent. And a lot of birds come and they'll take out the tops of the trees. So. So where we are here is a production landscape. It's an agricultural landscape. Here we have behind us this very ancient woodland that's at least 200 years old, and it has tree hollows in it that take 150 years to develop. You know, I feel like when we destroy things, like, you know, there's a landscape out there and we've destroyed a lot of it, in fact, apparently 87% of it in the Midlands, and all the work that the, the insects and the biodiversity did, I have inherited, I've got to do all that work for them, and they, you know, they're just not there. And I feel that remnants like this also inherit all that work and they can't cope, you know, no one can do more work than they're designed to do. And we just feel like we need to put something back, so we need to have a lot more areas to support some sort of balanced ecosystem. Um, so that the bits that you have cleared can actually, you know, that the whole area can cope with that. We've lost hundreds if not thousands of species of plants and, and, and animals in the last 230 years. Aboriginal people um, are now managing to get back onto some properties that, that the farmers and landholders are allowing us to, to come back onto um, and, and to do some cultural burning and some of the stuff. It's been a long time coming, but um, the way that can happen is through relationship building. It's important for us as Aboriginal people to get back onto country. It's important for country for us to be back on country. And it's important for um, the relationship between us as Aboriginal people and the people that hold the key to the gate to the property. We've had some farmers and landholders today passing on some of their land to Aboriginal people. It's a really good step because a lot of farmers and land that they have, for them it's about productivity and now they're starting to realise that what they've been doing and their practices are actually damaging the, the land. Something I want to be involved with is just um, opening up so we can get back onto, onto country, heal country and form relationships. For us to get back on and regenerate country, 
and spend time on it, the, the, the country starts to heal and become better. And you know, it's not about me doing it. Everyone in our catchment needs to do it. We all need to do our little bit, so you know, we're all working towards that. From this, this system in the last 230 years has caused a serious unbalance. So we all need to work together to get the balances back. Um, and you know, I don't know, um, I, you know how, that, how that's going to happen, but we have to at least try.